everyone, and we're here for more Hard West. This is a game we took a look at a while ago, and we played through it. I had a good time with it. We had fun. We completed it for the most part. We didn't get all the stars, but I'm not exactly that level completionist, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but there's these extra... There's been DLCs since. We're not doing DLCs right now, but there's these extra side campaigns off the main campaign that we never actually did. So I'm taking uh, other turn-based strategy games and playing. Darkest Dungeon, XCOM kill. Darkest Dungeon's been grindy, and I have to keep trying to do the... Final mission, so I might take a little break from that. Next comp too, which is not recording all right. It's just having I'm struggling so much to get that to record properly. So we're taking a little break from those, and we'll just do some hard quests because I know hard quests works. I mean, this game, it's been something on my computer. I've been wanting to come back to it and finish it off. So let's do this scenario in Gold we Trust. Let's do a challenge, but fair, painful for veterans. Yeah, we're veterans. Characters gain debuffs when damaged badly over time. They grow stronger for the experience. When that's the all seems fine. Let's start scenario. How many mods? Oh, I forgot to check for mods. That's fine. Alvaro Vasquez sought fortune, fame, and adventure. So when an ambitious inquisitor told him a Mayan legend about a lost and mysterious city of gold, he listened carefully. Such a find would cement his place in history and make him a very wealthy man. Vain as he was, he believed it was his destiny. But word of the expedition spread quickly and the undertaking was in peril before it even began. Hired thugs captured Vasquez and his companions. They tortured the Inquisitor, hoping he would reveal the location of the city. Okay, so we're a gold treasure hunter, and our... So we have to save our companions, including the Inquisitor. They got kidnapped by other greedy people. Killers to do, Vasquez open the door, procure better weaponry would be great. Himself alone and outgunned. His associates needed help. The best way to give it to them was to acquire as much firepower as possible. Yo, I like 95% forgot how to play this game. So, give us a moment. We got our weapon here, ammo, the range modifier. That's our heat. Really suspicious for some reason. There's a little danger to be not suspicious, and these guys are all imprisoned. And I don't, oh, there's a dude right here. So we just move here. That's right, we subdue him. But then there's only a certain number of turns we have before he responds, right? Or he like, gets mad? Before he wakes up or whatever? I believe so, so we can just go right past him. Fine. Yeah, I see, we're fine. And what's up, buddy? Dude down there, and a dude over there. Cure better weapons would be really nice. Cause I'm sure we have crummy weapons. That's our must be our buddy. There's our better weapons over there. So let's free this guy first. That's not with it. Okay, yeah, the fences go around. It's the proper way to go. Dude, these guards are just terrible, aren't they? Pop open this door. Pop open this door. Why can't I pop open this door? Open the door. Open, open, how do you open doors? Open the door. Vasquez there we go. Freed his old friend, Diego. What's up, Diego? Help me out Two here. more of Vasquez's companions still needed his help. Yeah, but how do? Get through here to there. Procure better weapons for sure. Oh, Cervantes. This is Inquisitor. He's down here with these guards. So have to kill these guys for sure. Otherwise, we can just subdue this guy. I want to get through there. There's two guards there. We get around here. There's that guy there. So I want to get behind him, which would be We're already over here. Never mind. So we just go around this corner and go through here. Be able to get the last weapons. Those better weapons. Should have to do a bit of walking. Come with me. I remember vaguely the luck system. It's like an armor. Is it the. If you have luck, you won't get shot if you're in cover because the shot, if it was going to hit you, instead drains your luck based on the percentage chance that the gun had to hit you in the first place. Something like that. It's been a long time since we played. Hard West, alright. So far, we're doing a good job being sneaky. 
I didn't see what item he had. He has sort of item or ability. Scavenger, you can scavenge for stuff with the corpses. Oh, I don't know which way he's facing. I know that guy's facing that way. Oh, okay, never mind, he's facing this way. Should be able to go over this way just fine. Now what I'm thinking... Ah, we have these two over here. We have three dudes. We can dispatch two over here. We're gonna have three guys. Ah, it doesn't make... No, it's not gonna work. Because we don't have three guys yet. We need two of them. There's four total. We only have two. We need to save two. So there's two guys here that we need to take out once. Probably. To help freeze our buddy. Free our buddy. Gabriel de Cervantes. We only need one guy to take care of that guy. Alright, I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to get our better weapons. And then we're going to have one person stay behind, ready to save the Cardinal. Other person go save the other dude. And then, by subduing the guy. And if we have enough time, he'll come back. They'll come back to help free the Cervantes. Unless the game just like kicks us out before we do that. Can you not go in there? Is that really your whole action? Will you just open that door? Ah, you should stay back here and get ready to save, help save Cervantes. Because we want, obviously we want everyone. We want our, the entire squad ready. So you just sit right here for a while. Vasquez didn't feel so defenseless anymore. What do we get? 10 gauge shotgun. Is that actually open that for a 10k shotgun? And do all that work for one 10 gauge shotgun? Let me go around here. That'll be right in his point of view, though. We we'll probably subdue him. I don't think there's any rules about being in front or behind the subdue guy. Alright, now a little bit of walking. No problem. The players don't in here. Look out the window. Alright. We're fine. Could move my hand over to reach the backspace. Not gonna happen. Um, my fingers on the camera controls. So now we go here and we try to subdue this guy. And subdue him. Five turns. Space and character heat. We have lots of heat. Oh, you can subdue for multiple. Okay, multiple turns. Vasquez's mentor, yep, Senor Zacharias, thanked him for liberating him. The enemy still held one of his men captive. Yeah, I know we're on it. We're on it. But you have a derringer and a musket. Deadly derringer, not any regular derringer. All right, let's try to keep him locked down for a few turns, and we come engage these guys. I should get all the way over here so you can help these help take care of these fools. You're gonna be end up right there. Just keep him subdued. Just stick him up, buddy. You guys actually don't want to be here. Be over there, it's only half cover. But we can't be flanked when all this goes down. Well if you need to move later, you need to move later. We're not doing it right now. Battle's not going down right this second. Give him to dude. Probably good enough to move now. Oh, I don't want you to kill this man. Sooner rather than later. Which will require you to be, like, right here. So then after you kill him, you're in cover. You're gonna be right up here-ish. What about you? We got one more turn. So we need to be in positions where we don't get attacked by these guys after we kill these dudes. Save our... Save our Padre. Did you come flip the stable over? Yeah, not quite. 
Not quite fast enough. Uh, could you get over here? We good enough cover? Probably not. But it's right here. That's for the bad cover. Can we spend a turn in bad cover? Probably. We probably afford to spend a turn in bad cover. Alright, we'll initiate next turn. I guess you just keep him subdued. And then you murder him, and then, you know, everything goes crazy. Alright, let's do this. You have your 10 gauge single shot, and you have your musket. Was that 100%? 63%? What about your shots? Neither are particularly great. 58%, 58%, 58%, 58 Maybe you should just get closer. Why not just get on the table and do that? That seems like a much better idea. Let's do that instead. And then we're in decent cover and we'll be nice and close. So we'll keep him subdued. I feel like we're doing this very slowly, but at least it's safe. It's a safe fashion. And this should be fine setup. Do a cone shot? Really unnecessary. You do a ricochet? Also really unnecessary. No, oh, don't murder that man. 60% is not particularly. Well, you know, not really what I'm looking for here. There you can. It's ah, only 5 damage. Who are these dudes? Can you subdue them? Cannot threaten enemies when other enemies see. Okay, they're watching each other, so we can't do it. So let's just engage. Maybe Father has a pistol and helps out. Let's take out these guys. Combat. Engaged. Actually, I'm probably just daring to finish off this dude. You missed. 75% chance you missed. Let's try it again. Good job. Now those guards are done, and you're just gonna murder this man. Who is... Didn't really realize he had 6 HP. So I might want to move to not get shot. Not get murdered by his counterattack. How does that change your shot to 65%? Was it that far away you had to move for that? That seems unreasonable. Alright, this shot out got real messed up. Father. Alright, father's not target, looks like. Alright, his 4 HP guys aren't a huge problem. Draining our luck very rapidly, though. There's no way you have a shot. Alright. Okay. <laughs> this is real messy. That's a gross sound. Ah, oh, you'd have to reload. Sixty damage isn't good enough. Derringers, you can shoot twice, correct? We we would, and he has six foot chance to hit him for three. If we hit him, if we get lucky and hit him both times, he's dead. Eh? Ah, at least drained his luck. We're gonna be out of luck on ourselves pretty soon. I have 57 left here. We'd have to reload. Alright, he's right there. You get up on him, kill him? Nah, it's not gonna work. Buy your musket. 69? To kill his 6 health guy? It's probably pretty good. Alright. And yeah, that means Cervantes is free. The was badly wounded. Is he? The crew was determined to drive all the bandits from the We camp. are. I'm okay not doing that, honestly. And quiz are getting to cover. Your health is kinda low, you don't have any shots, it's fine. Do you have any shots here? Not really. Do you have any better cover to take? The dude there. That's not good enough, it's not good enough, because we have this guy over here, can't take there, can't take there. We kind of surrounded over here. It's not it's a not a good deal for us. If we get there, we might be able to derringer this guy. And I don't think he can see us through all this cover over here. So this might be okay. It's still half cover, which is kinda 
a raw deal for us. Okay, can't quite see him. Can't quite see anything, actually. So we might as well reload your shotgun. And then you have nothing to do, so we just end the turn. Alright, this is gonna be this is rough. This is right here. This will shoot out when way rougher than I expected. If you can get here and finish them off with your derringer, like derringer might be out of ammunition. Oh, ugh, get Senor Zacharias. Zacharias took a hit there. A long shot. Mm, I don't like we're in this corner is really really bad for us. Oh no, Senor! You need to hide Senor. Okay, we need to kill this guy. Then we have the four health guys. The four health guys we can take out pretty easily. Do you get there? Or do you have a decent shot? Oh, they might be running around the corner at you. About there, maybe. We should just punish these dudes that are standing in the middle of nowhere. So we get here. This weapon needs to be loaded though, doesn't it? Sixty-four percent, no cover. One at a time. I'm relearning the rules of the game here. Poor Senor Zacharias is getting wrecked. Rizidi, Rizidi wrecked. He does need this vitality elixir. Should move and heal him. Gabriel, there's a guy there. I'm having a hard time keeping good cover. Because we're surrounded. You pop over here, you can pop that guy, but then we still have all these dudes over here shooting at us. We need to get out of this crossfire. That's what we need to do. Oh, dude, that guy is not in cover. Crumb shot, though. He's wounded. However, you get there, that should be a nice shot. You're only in half cover, though. So you have full HP. And it's a decent shot, it looks like 62%. You may remember in Hard West the percentages are the numbers seem to work a little bit differently. Uh which one's better? That or that? I have no idea. Probably that one, because if they get over here, they'll probably shoot the father. So I'll get here and heal up. Don't what you did. Zacharias. You won't survive. Our main man over here, our champion, is Alvaro. He's he's in a bit of a rough spot. We need to go save him. Father's okay. Alright, his luck's a little low. But he's alright. Luck's running out. We need to end this right now. Right meow. Can't really move that much because Magic Root restores your luck, I believe. Oh, we'll deal with you in a second. Looks like it's up to Diego to really carry the day here and save his comrades. There's, there's, there's a there's oh they're going after Alvaro over here. We need to save him. You two can save yourselves. Let's be for real. That's okay. I don't think you're gonna be able to dare injure anyone. Yeah, you have to reload both either way. Is there any way you can ricochet? I don't see any ricochet objects nearby. What a weird, it's a very weird uh, ability. Ricochet. 49% is not very good. You'll walk into a little mini Overwatch type deal. You can take better cover though. There, there. I'll go right there. Zero percent. Well, then you need to hide out for a second. You need to bail out. Is this guy not going to shoot? All right, he would. And he would shoot you, because you're in a real bad spot. 
like a really, really bad spot. 33%, that's the best you have. He's only at 30 luck and 5 HP, and there's these guys coming around the corner. It's about to get really, really bad for us. Might already be considered really, really bad for us. You get here, Diego, what can you see? Yeah, you can see him up there. Oh, you can scavenge this dude. Aren't, is that not the same tile? Am I one tile off or something? I must be one tile off. You lose it at the end of combat. The weapon you get. You have to reload no matter what. Ah, oh, Diego, we're going to be relying on you a lot. Gabriel, you have nothing and you're out of luck. You probably should just hide. Alvaro. Alvaro might be able to just flee. That's the only damn thing. He eats the Overwatch shot and runs for his life. Because he just has a revolver. It shouldn't do enough damage to kill him. That's the way weapons work in Hard West. He should have enough to just flee. Might get flanked and finished off, though. I'm trying to think where the best place for him to flee would be. Oh, he moves there, eats the Overwatch, and shoots this dude, but he's gonna get killed for sure. He moves there, be killed for sure, he does not have the capacity to fight. Fight back through all that, he just has to run for it. Let's try to get him here. He died! He took five damage! Oh man. Alright, we can't split up like that. Let's let's try that again. Hard injuries, Iron Man, start. Alright, that was the warm. That was the mole game. It's been a long time since we played Hard West. We're back in it now. Definitely cannot split up like that. Vasquez broke free. Found himself All right, let's hurry up. Gun. His associates needed help. The best way to give it to them associates be fine. was to acquire as much firepower as possible. And now we know where all the guards are, so we can move a lot faster. We not waddle. We run these places. I'm trying. <laughs> Come on. Pop the door open. Vasquez freed his old friend Diego. Diego is a beast, though we learned. Two more of Vasquez's companions. So we have to go home. around the back way, don't we? Let's want to both go to. You know, the father's injured. Let's let's save let's save the father last. Let's both go get. Both go get the other buddy here, whatever his name was. But the father is wounded and only has a small weapon. Oh, we need the weapons though. Just come through here, like, really awkwardly. Because this guy makes it... Ah, no, we can just go up this side, can't we? Yeah, whatever, it's fine. A little awkward roundabout, we're not on a time limit. We go get the weapon, and then we kill the guy in one turn. Instead of, because I forgot about the weapons and the damage and the, how exactly hard West works. How it treats weapons and damage. So this time we'll be able to actually kill the guy in a single turn, because I forgot how significant 6 health is, opposed to 4 HP. Because the weapons do consistent damage for the most part. There's not a lot, there's not as much of dice rolling. Or damage numbers, as there are in some games. I was sure that guy's pistol is going to do like 3 to 4 damage. I'm surprised we got hit for 5. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting something about the Overwatch abilities, if you take extra damage for that. Because of flanking, or if it was just a you know a big, uh, like a navy gun, one of those larger weapons that does more damage. <laughs> Such a casual walk for trying to sneak, sneak around here. Just get, get the... just get on that. You know, go and stand next to him. You guys gonna hang out for a second. Vasquez didn't feel so defenseless anymore. Yeah, because he has a, a ten gauge. <laughs> it's not that great of a weapon. Ten gauge single shot shotgun. Can you get weapons now? Didn't think you could, but if you could, you already have a weapon, I suppose. 
Why they wouldn't disarm the prisoners, I have no idea. Let's go murder what's his face. They might kill the I'm not sure if they kill the if they kill father what's his face. Father Cervantes. They might. After we sound the alarm. They didn't last time because we're may have been because we're shooting at those guys. I'm not sure if we shoot these guys. Get, get the action started and what's gonna happen. Probably should not move there because we can't subdue him to the wall. I've been a little silly. See him. What's up, buddy? Subdued. Vasquez's mentor, Senor Zacharias, thanked him for liberating him. All right, let's prepare for a proper shootout here. He still held one of his men captive. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get. It. We got. We got it. And then you can get like here. And then we'll just shoot the dude. The Derringer twice in the face seems good. Next turn. Actually, you should do it. You're in a better, I think you're in a better spot for it. Kill him. Man is dead. Come at. To move up, get ready to do some some real gunslinging here. Can you sit anyone from here? Much better cover. This feels much better. Being stick here for anyone to come down this alleyway is probably fine. All right, they're not executing Father Father Cervantes. Gabriel de Cervantes. Should not know he's wounded. Doesn't have a good gun. It's fine. And yeah, he's low HP, poor accuracy, not a great gun. So leaving it for last. Him not being in combat is not a big deal. Oh, I got a prize for you, sir. Your prize is getting shot in the face. Two danger shots or one? Oh, yeah, two danger shots. Two danger shots at 80%. Uh, ah. Yeah, we can finish him off. Like, move here. Finish him off pretty easily. Hopefully. 64%. I love Fortuna's thug. That's been slain. These guys are coming up on you. Is that risky? Is that stu smart or stupid to move back there? Remember, there's no Overwatch that must get within. They see you coming within that certain range. Yeah, do you have a shotgun? You probably just run up here and blast one of these dudes in the face. Like that guy right there. Only 58% is not particularly good. What's the cone shot do again? Max damage 4? 34, 38, we could get both. Seems unlikely to work, but also dope enough on to try it. Oh, he took us some other luck. That, I mean, if that did work, it would have been super cool. But it takes away some of our luck, so we can keep shooting at them. And a better chance to hit. Oh, he's in a perfect spot. Just should be easy to kill that guy. Yeah, staying consolidated. Definitely a way better idea. Just trying to get way too clever. How is that? He's in no cover. You only have a 59% chance to hit him. Embarrassing. You should be ashamed, Diego. Unless you just murder him right now, then never mind what I'm talking about. Nope. We have the backup come help finish him off. If you can see him. Which I think you would be able to from there. I think he actually can actually I'll actually tell you who you could see. Alright, sharpshooter down. You have I don't see a lot of signals there's enemies around. A couple guys over there. You need to reload your weapon anyway. Let's have you You can just chill here and reload. Oh reload your musket, that's why don't you reload. Oh, you must get it. You haven't shot, you must get it. Reload that, end your turn. You might be coming around this right side up. Let's do some clever maneuvering. Oh, 
Or shoot that guy. Or this guy. Never mind. You're fine where you are. Glad I didn't move you around. I don't know why that tent doesn't count as cover. Yeah, a little worse on that. Just hit him with the double derringer again. Two at 75 isn't too crazy. Too much of an ask, or eh, this is actually terrible. Getting in with the musket now. That lower is luck enough for that to be a good shot. 67 overkill. I kind of want to go for it. There we go. Make sure we get the kill. Could have just wounded him with the derringer, but that didn't seem good enough. That's... Reload the shotgun. We have a decent shot. You're out of luck. 40% for one damage. Can't quite get there. Did not use your shotgun yet. Can't see the guy though. What about now? Still can't see anyone. Well, let reload. That's a terrible shot. You're out of luck though, I don't should be taking damage. You're in full cover. You drain his luck by shooting. You only do one damage, so that's pretty garbage. So that probably not more shooting at him yet. Reload, you'll be fine. Lose a little bit of HP, you'll be fine. Yeah, one damage because in full cover, it's fine. You even got your luck back. You know, that helped us, if anything. Alright, that's terrible cover for him. We have to make sure we kill this dude. Wondering. How do I get over here? Oh, hell, hell, oh, hi. What, what up? Well, it's. Ah, oh, you only have one shot, you fool. I should have reloaded. Damage three. That's going to get us hit. If you move back here, he'll have some cover from this guy. Where, where can you move to? He can't really threaten... I don't think he can threaten the rest of the squad too much from there. We'll, we'll finish off this turn in a second. Now that that development has occurred. If, so if you move up here, you will get flanked by that guy. We don't want that to happen. You can just spray bolts into this dude. Especially if you can't, yeah, mm, play this guy over here, hmm, hmm. 39, 35, wait, who you see? I can't see anyone over there. You shoot him through the, shoot him through the wall over there? Which is actually a better shot somehow. And it would be super cool if you hit that. Oh my god, Spike Lewis shot hit him. Fantastic work, probably can't do it now because of luck. No, it's still 39%. That's so awesome, we're going to try it again. Ah. That would have been cool, huh? Can you... Nope, you just have a speculative shot on that guy. Shooting through the wall. Let's go for it. This is a good old, just a regular old shootout right now. You, however... Could shoot the dude in the face, but not really, because you don't have enough... If you move, ah, you have to reload. What I'm thinking you do, is you just shoot him. Next turn, reload. Shoot him again. He's probably going to get a nice little area to return fire, but you should be okay. Like, not dead okay. A little bit of a bull wound, but... Unless he moved somewhere stupid and you just finish him off. You have to meet. You have to reload though. Get back in your tree and reload. In fact, I'll let you reload your musket. That's one thing I remember about the musket. Is that it did tons of damage, so it was great to use, but it. It had to be reloaded every single time. The weapons had to be reloaded every single time or. Weren't that great. Five damage! Whew. Don't take that five damage shot. He hasn't done anything yet. Which means I feel like we should reload and shoot it with the Derringer. Alright. 
Enemy line of sight, enemy line of fire. 34, 34, and 35 versus the shotgun. 40, 39, 39. Not to worry about that guy. That guy would be a really nice shot, though. Dang. Get this reloaded. Oh, we need to move. We need to get better on lines of fire on these dudes. Sitting here goofing around, shooting through tents and stuff, exchanging his fire, it's not working out. Although we do have what's his face over here on the right doing work. There's more of them than there are of us, they're gonna whittle us down, even though we have more HP total. Alright. Now we know this guy's right over here somewhere. I don't want you to get like shot. Get right here. Oh, okay, no overwatch because he didn't see you coming. Ah, oh, your musket's not reloaded. Should have done that first. This lets you put the pain on this thug. Because now also, we have lots of almost dead enemies, which is not good. We should have dead enemies, not a bunch of almost dead enemies. Which tells me we're not doing this right. You have two shots at 34? They kill him? Uh, I don't like just sitting here doing a shootout, but that's what we got going on right now. <laughs> okay, I actually have both of those. I right, have that guy, Mr. Mystery. Yeah, that should be one health guy, it's one health guy. We're almost gotten all the damage in. I think we're set to move here. Might be a little premature, a little risky. Let's go for it. You have a decent shot at him. Alright, it's a big turn. He missed. Where's, where's this guy going? Taking a shot. Should miss, it did. Who's next? This guy. Oh. That's alright, Zacharias. This is your time to shine. So you just murder one of these dudes. We have to reload as well. They can't kill you, it's fine, just kill him. And then reload and you kill the next guy next turn. You piece of garbage, you missed. Sorry, next turn to be super cool and you kill them both that damager. Finish them off. Uh, is your shotgun loaded? It is, in fact. Just lets you, you're gonna obliterate this mate. This, this guy doesn't stand a chance. What up? How's it going? Leaves these jokers. Hmm. Where can we see them? And where can they see us from? And where can these guys see us from? Also, you have to reload, don't you? Yeah, you have to reload all your weapons. Let's reload the Derringer, the double shot per turn, something's out of time. Oh, wait, you can just reload both weapons from there. Just do that. Alright, it's coming back to me a little bit. These guys don't know how to gunfight. Alright, that's the proper. Okay, you moved into cover. Should still have a decent deal to kill them, though. 49, 50-50. And we fire twice. One. Finish him off. Two. He, you missed both times. Senor. Sakarais. That is disappointing. I don't mean why are these tents covered? You also need to reload both your guns. I only use this derringer two rounds, but I get all four shots of this derringer. How about you get back here? And I'll let you help out our Zacharias, who should have been fine. Ugh, now we got this situation evolved. Oh, oh yeah, he, he just committed suicide. Don't even use a shotgun if you can help it. Alright. 
Now this dude... You're out of luck. You really need to hit this guy. Dude, it's a, the bell's... Bell tolls for these Zacharias. Alright, he's dead. Now can you... Take some shots on this guy? That's a pretty nice little... Uh, giving you some a nice view there. He's out of cover. Hit him for three. He's half dead. Ah, you, ah, no, ah, that's bad. It was good, now it's bad again. Get up here and be prepared to help. It's about to be fighting these the last two guys. These guys have 6 HP, so they're not, they're not messing around. It's your shot, like, 30%. Not very good, but you can get into a better... You can get into a flank pretty easily. And hit him with your shotgun, probably. Like, from right here. 55, you can't do it though because I forgot to reload your shotgun. So that's on me. Hard West, don't. What? Don't, what, what, what? What's wrong with Hard West? I know Hard West, so you can record just fine. Mm, and you just need better. You need to get up here to help him, being good cover. Alright, it's a good recipe for success. That's finally a thing we can ricochet off of. 60% though to half kill is still good. 0% then don't do it. Shotgun, 0%. Just reload. You can get around here. Take him there. So he's a mercenary. His, other, his friend's not helping him. Which is fine by me. I'll give a shot to you from here. It's alright. 60% kill him. Excellent. Let's take advantage of this to reload, including the shotgun. I guess we get another good shot in here, guy. We're just up there chilling. And you should be fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. Just move up. Don't move up too far and aggro him yet. Don't, don't make him mad just yet. Be fine right here? Maybe. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, it was fine right there. I want to hit him with this musket, though. Is your musket reloaded? Try to get him with this musket and just kill him one hit. Move up as far as you can. Try to get up here and get him in your line of sight. I'll just skip the skip everyone else's turn until we get that shot off. It's like right here. 55 to not kill him, only four damage. Oh, he's in half cover to you. Yeah, or just take a shot anyway. Not nearly as good as I was hoping. I didn't realize he was technically in cover. We have lots of shots at him. Which at the worst drain his luck a little bit. Never mind, we hit. Gave him his luck. Actually, gave him his luck back. Get up on his full cover. Put pressure on him. It, he went. He fused into the mountain, and then shot Zachari Zacharias. Reload and then get up. Get over here. Should be a really good shot on him. And then you guys only have half cover, unless you want to get closer. I can get up on this wagon. Took, I feel like we took a lot of damage. Really just have no shot in this guy at all? Evidently not. What about you, main guy, Alvaro? You have it a little bit, you can drain his luck so that that musket shot has a better chance. Sends the bolts over his head. Dude, he can't, you're just walking through rocks, I don't know what to do about that. What do I do about a man that can just go right through stones? Alright, this should be a flank. 
So it should be a very dead gunslinger. Excellent. Finally, the camp was theirs. But ooh, mission complete. All right, I felt good. Been a long, a long time since played Hard West. I know I like the game. Vasquez went on an adventure that had consequences no one could have foreseen. The camp would make hats, bread, bones, and graves. Temporary home base. They would need to secure some manpower and supplies to keep them fed. Unfortunately, Inquisitor Cervantes was in no shape to accompany them. They left him behind, hoping he would still be breathing when they returned. So why'd I rescue him if he's not gonna come with us? <laughs> why would I rescue my friends? They don't do any anything to help us. Onto the village, I suppose. Poverty stricken village seemed like a good place to acquire manpower. Fifty men expressed the willingness to join the expedition and serve as Vac Vasquez's peons. They asked for five hundred dollars. It was a price princely sum, but they knew the expedition did not have a choice. Alright. Out of transaction, so that's twenty, that's fifty manpower. So I guess the hats are manpower. After the transaction, a man who had been watching from afar approached the posse and offered his gun and leadership. He said his name was David O'Connell. They knew to look as well. Is that from the mummy, O'Connell? He replied that the adventure was its own reward, that he wouldn't say no to a piece of whatever wealth the expedition turned up. But that he wouldn't say no to a piece of whatever wealth the expedition turned up. When Vasquez asked how he could be sure O'Connell wasn't one of La Fortuna's hired guns, the stranger replied, They'll vouch for me. Pointing to several La Fortuna's men hanging from a tree. Zacharias thought it was risky. Diego just shrugged and said they were doomed either way. <laughs> Thanks, Diego. Vasquez agreed to let O'Connell join, not hiding his enthusiasm. O'Connell assured them they would be glad of his company. Uh, he looks he looks like a stand-up guy. All right, where are we going? Acquire provisions. Where's that? The farmhouse, I suppose. We walk over to the farmhouse. I have bread as provisions, presumably. In the wilderness, they found a run-down but still operational farm, and they approached farmers leveled guns at the group. Diego found the right words to, say, to allay, allay their fears. Farmers are anything but hospitable. Try to acquire the provisions. Owner's son made a single offer and did not tolerate any attempts, attempts to hangle. Three hundred dollars for a pile of food. Well, that's all our money, but there's our food. There's our provisions. The, mon the man accepted the money and walked off, saying they could come back later if they needed more. So we got some food. We're just broke now, but we have our we have our food and our provisions. Wait, that's the same thing. Our provisions and our men. Asco souls men to set up camp. The group's new goal is to find a way across the river. Meanwhile, the Inquisitor's state was worsening. They would need to patch him up and send him back before moving on. Expedition's current main camp, where all supplies of Beyonce located, along with any injury. Oh, that's where we are right now. Decided to send scouts, checked on the health of the men, checked on the health of the posse, considered organizing a hunt. They checked on Cervantes' Inquisitor. Let's tend to the Inquisitor. Feverish and riddled with open wounds. Cervantes muttered darkly about angels and demons as he twisted in a puddle of blood and sweat. That's gross. They could have sent him off in the state by having Zacharias patch him up first would be a smart option. Do not have bottles of liquor. Could send him off in the state by having Zacharias patch him up first would be a smarter option. So we can keep him around for a little bit. I'm not sure how long he's going to survive, though. Check on the health of the boss. Everyone doing good? None of the boss had any ailments. Excellent. How's the men doing? The men should be fine. We just got them. Let's send the scouts. Send scouts. Scouts be sent to explore the area. Scouts sent to explore the riverbank. The west. Let's do the riverbank. We're supposed to cross the river. Let's check the river. Let's not mess around. A wrecked steamboat, more importantly, down river to peons discover some old docks. Seemed like an ideal spot for crossing, crossing the river on a raft. And let's do a hunt. Maybe grab a little bit of provision. We do we need to? Well, let's... Whatever. We're, we're exploring the rules of this campaign. Or the scenario. If Asco's considered to send some peons out to hunt in the area of camp, it was relatively safe. Animals were not plentiful. Six peons sent on a hunt. Hunt was a success, men returned food. Alright, so it wasn't really a cost. I guess there's a small chance something goes wrong. And. Did we just leave? There we go, check like the steamboat. Eastern River Boat. Wreckage. Check the wreckage. We could also go to the trapper shop. Or the village again. We only have 200 money. Let's go to the wreckage. 200 money. 200 money. Wreck steamboat can be found in the riverbank. Looked to have been there several years. It had long been since been looted. It could be dismantled for raft wood. Hey, that's the wood we need for the raft. Within hours, wood has been retrieved. So I can build a raft. I don't know what broken bones and skull <laughs> and graves mean. This spot looks suitable for mining gold from the river. Well, let's get some money. Make the peons do it. Peons successfully mined some gold and someone died. We got 12 gold and someone died. 
eight peons in order to mine gold in the river. Peon sex with mines of gold. We are running out of food quickly doing that, though, so let's stop. Leave. I thought I said it was an ideal place for building a raft. We can't go to this little raft spot. We have wood for it. Oh, we need more wood. We are we are low on wood. So probably going to have to scout. Let's go to this chopper shop. Weapons and equipment. Vasquez with the wares. This, we don't have a lot of money. Dexterity elixirs. Cruise defense. Health boosts. Nail bomb. Pretty good. Remember having that ability to do that, have that grenade damage? That's the damage really good. Decrease aim and defense. Debilitates any movement and aim. Healing's fine. Extra guns are great. That is a doofy looking gun. 14 barrels. Well, the steadfast last one actually makes up for in volume. Minus 10 aim, 4 damage. Not good against cover, but 14. And it's a doofy looking gun. I like it. The Remy Borgen rifle is pretty good. Medium, 9 ammunition, 5 damage. All I have is cash and a gun. Buy both the Remy Borgens. Those are good weapons. Of what I remember from the other scenarios, you don't really need to save money that much because money. It's, it's just not. It's not a big of a deal. The de scenarios aren't that long. Normally you're fine before you run out of money. Yeah, I kind of want to mess with a steadfast pistol. Minus 10 8 is pretty rough. We're. It's a novelty. We don't need it. Uh, trade. I can't. Oh, take the money. Take the appropriate amount of money. Just to offer. For... Close. And now we go to camp. Send out some scouts. Send scouts to the west. Scouts to the west. See, perfect for fishing and mining gold. Old sawmill would be food, not food, wood for rafts. Wood for rafts. Let's go to the old sawmill. A fate trader. What do you have? Do you have some weird trinkets? We're a bit low on cash. Far from civilization, an odd but inviting stand. Ancient toothless dwarf. They asked the midget if you could sell them any booze. A relic, a bone hand rifle. Aim 15. That is really good. I should have saved some money. I didn't realize there'd be an even better shop right down the road, okay? With shotgun revolvers and bone hand rifles. Because that thing looks dope. Extra aim, lots of damage. Only one ammo, though. Candle it did. Extra aim in sight. <laughs> Snake leather boots. Is it really good? We don't have the money for it, though. Okay, you just have all this cool stuff. I just went to the lame. I went to the lame shop. This is the good shop. Gun trades defense for damage. Oh, it's so good. This stuff's so good. 12 damage. We couldn't afford it anyway, but this is some good stuff. Ultimate last ditch. Gun. Eight damage. Dude, these are some good weapons. Even just a regular repeater rifle. I think I might be better. I don't remember that's better or worse than Ruby Borgen. Medium 5.9. Medium 4.16. There's damage 4, damage 5. And it's a bit of a trade off. I think the Ruby Borgen is probably a little better, a little more damage. This has bonus aim, as my minus aim, so the repeater is actually probably better. Because the aim is really. Having aim is really nice. With how health works in this game, though, extra damage can be really significant. Let's, let's get our wood. Doesn't matter, we have the money, so it's all academic regardless. I already spent the money. Vasquez, having his men cut trees, organizing a hunt. Let's cut trees. What does this mean? Why do we have a bone? We should have bought alcohol from the midget. I forgot. Ten men at risk of serious injury. As <laughs> the men had little experience as lumberjacks. Guys, good luck. No one? Hey, everyone's fine. Did we get the wood? We did not get all the wood we needed. We need more trees. We should organize the hunt with long provisions. Eight men would be need to forge for food, but they'd probably make it home safely. Yeah, go. Cool. Yeah, there we go, got a lot. Why why we get more bones? Those injuries? Injured men? Might be injured men, we have to go back to the camp and check on their health. And then we can treat them with something. Cut trees. Dead men sent to cut wood. A couple more injuries. But we got the wood we need. Now let's search the woods. Anything useful other than food, six men. For an effective search party, odds were that all of them would make it home safe. Well, then have fun. They didn't all make it home safe. They found a weapon left behind at a careless hunter or bandit. It wasn't the best weapon they seen, but they found it useful nonetheless. The Ugliest Duster Special, and a lucky coin, and ten of clubs card. Cool, good job, man. Good job, boys. 
Uh, leave. Let's go back see if we can buy some booze. For our, our pal, the minister. Dwarf snarled hands revealed several bottles of whiskey which he handed Vasquez. He refused all payment for them, insisting that fate has to take its course so we do get our share of freedom. Men were confused but accepted graciously. Well, we got our liquor. Let's go help out our father. Not the trap shop. Forget the trap shop. We don't need the trap shop. Hey, what up? Check on the health of our men and of our minister. And then I think we haven't found the next mission yet, but it's dragging on a little bit, so we'll end it after this. Let's batch him up. Two bottles of liquor. I was resting now, his condition's better. Now that he had done some work, but he's still in no state to continue the journey. And have two peons carry him to the next town. And shouting, Cervantes called to See you Vasquez later, salute. As the peons carried him off. Grasping Vasquez's arm like a drowning man. Follow the red star. That they must follow the red star. Diego shook his head sadly. Zacharias merely raised an eyebrow. Vasquez would never forget the raw conviction in the Inquisitor's All the Red Star, got it. Ten provisions to heal five peons. Do you have any peons? Let's do it. I'm kind of don't want to be running out of... Yeah, let's heal last guy. Kind of don't run out of food. It's hard to get some more provisions. We don't have enough money to buy it from the farmer, though. So we'll be organizing a hunt. Might have to go back to the woods. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe for more fun. Twitch, like, steal, and I'll see you next time.